video plus two. All right, I have a new washer. Previous video, I said the washer was too small. I'm going to include the link below so y'all go watch it. Um, this new washer is by, is this Fry Fur? We just got this dog on thing today. <laughs> oh my lord, she do too much. We just got this thing today. Um, it's bigger than the last one, like I said. <laughs> Um, okay, and I'm back. I'm back because my number one had issues. You don't want to know about Mr. Number Two. All right, uh, I think where I left off was um, it's bigger than the last one, so much bigger than the last one. I can't even put emphasis on how much bigger than the last one. I guess I put the dimensions and whatnot. Lying, not gonna do that, but I might include the link on where I got it from. Um, Amazon, as well as the other one from Amazon. So I'll put the links about the perspective washers down below. Um, this is the wash side. Um, cameraman, come on in here and get the wash side. I've already filled it up with some water. And I was telling, Bay, I was like, I'm gonna need a big bucket. <laughs> if you remember the last video, I was filling this shit up with a bucket because this, oh shit, water came out here. But this little flimsy thing is supposed to go on your sink. This is just not where it's at. This is some bullshit. So, what I do when what I do with the last one because they still came with the little flimsy holes, I take my little bucket my little bucket and then i did two buckets of hot water already so i'm gonna put some cold water in here and i'm gonna do a warm wash wait on the bucket to fill up okay and i think i have to because i'm not gonna record myself filling up I'm gonna be real with y'all. But I am gonna show you how to do it. So I can... <laughs> if I don't wet up the motherfucking blue, LOL, glad it hit the fucking rug. Filled this up with water. Like I said, I was not gonna get me filling with those buckets. Oh, y'all. Anyways, this is one big time. So. It's literally you can see it is pretty deep. So this is a brief uh, clip of the towels washing. Like I said, I did about seven towels and some blue towels. Um, all right. So this is the wash timer, total of 15 minutes. Like the uh, last portable washer and spin dryer. Uh, the spin timer, your drain standard and gentle. 
Um, I believe I already showed you all the air dry side. If not, I'm doing it again. It's pretty deep, deeper than the last one. This is a little this thing. Um, in terms of quality, the last one was made better. The disc. But I don't see a difference in it getting anything. Um, I guess it really doesn't make a difference, but it's just plastic like the last one. But the last one was a better quality. Um, this actually holds more uh, as the wash side. Like I said, this is uh, Fryfer, the brand Fryfer. I got it from Amazon for about a hundred and ninety-two dollars. I want to say, um, worth every penny from what I can see. Uh, I just did a whole basket full of um, towels, and I have them hanging up to dry. So, uh, yeah, I will come back in a second to. Uh, show you how many times I can actually fit the uh, air dry side and what it sounds like when the uh, spinner is on. All right, everybody, I'm back in another clip. Um, the clothes have uh, finished washing. I did a total of 15 minutes. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to drain it. This is currently how I have a hose. I actually bought a um, another hose because obviously the way I have this set up, it wasn't going to, um, wasn't going to fit in the tub. That's another load I have to do, but I won't be doing it tonight. Um, I actually went without washing for about two weeks and I have tons to put on the drying rack. And as of right now, I really don't have the space. Um, yeah, normally what I like to do is drain uh, all of this out and then I will um, actually fill it again with cold water and do a rinse and I like to add the fabric softener. Once again, you guys, this is what I use to um, wash my clothes in once again I am not getting paid um, for the review on the product I bought this with my own money in terms of the fabric softener and the uh, laundry detergent I purchased everything with my own money this is my honest opinion of the product um this comes off completely this door thing I thought that was neat i can slide it this way slide it that way slide it this way i think that's neat um and then like i said the air dry side i've dried um a good amount of towels and they're virtually dry um so yeah, I'm gonna actually, because I have to fill up my bucket, actually going to fill it up. And you guys, um, make sure that the drain is switched back to standard. That way you won't have, when you're pouring your water in, it won't just start draining. Okay. Right, so I'm about to fill it up, pour the downy in, and then uh, do another um, wash, so to speak. I'm gonna say that's like a rinse. Um, I normally like to do it for a total of six minutes, so I'll be back. All right, you all. So um, I've actually refilled the uh, washer. Um, put my downy in, my fabric softener, and I'm letting it um, do an additional six minutes. Then I'm going to drain again. I'm going to come back 
Um, and let you see how many times I can actually fit on this side. So, like I said, overall, I give this thing because of the holes being short. And the wire is also shorter than the um wait, let me not lie. I believe the drain holes are short on all of them. I believe these are flimsy on every last one of the washers. Honestly. Um so pros. Get ton in here. Not so much in here, but you know, you just have to break it in half because it doesn't uh dry as much as you can wash. There's no problem. Drain holes. Like I said, it is actually um, longer than the one on the other washer by uh, the brand Zenny. Um, so it's actually longer, but like I said, I still had bought another hose because I was planning on using that washer, but I said, that's not gonna work for me. It's way too small and I'll be washing clothes all day. Um, with this, I can break it up. I've actually, I had to break up my towels, but like I said, I haven't washed it. I haven't washed in two weeks. Um, so there's no problem there. Um, yeah, the cords, not that long, but there's no issue. You would just have to get an extension for it. Uh, so I'm actually, you know, my baby. The drama queen. Complete and utter drama queen. But I'm going to come back once um, this drains, once it gets finished. Um, then I'm gonna drain it and show you how many towels I can actually fit on the air dry side. All right, so uh, I'm back. My son is being extra. I don't know if y'all gonna hear him or not, but yeah, there you go. A little book of bed extra. Okay. All right, so this is one um, large towel, as y'all can see. It's dripping water. It's dripping water. But I'm going to put it over here. Let's see if I can rotate this one a little bit. Yeah, this a little bit better. Now, like I said, I think I can do a, uh, a total of three large um, tiles. You know what? I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do four. Okay. All right. Remember that this thing has to stay on drain when you spin. this i have kids um well a seven month old and one year old i cut this on this will not move unless i put this down basically is soaking wet but it's kind of damp i don't actually want to tear it up so i am going to um i just got it so i am just going to do these four big tiles that i know i can do 
Let's see. Yeah, so about four big tiles. for sure. I want to show you guys another thing, this lint catcher. Look at how much lint this thing caught from these towels. Literally. That's a lot of lint. It's another thing that I like about this uh, tiny washer that actually catches the uh, actually catches the lint. dripping from it. I'm going to take each one out as you see. Nothing's dripping from it. And this last one here. Nothing's dripping from it. Overall, I would like to give this washer a 4.5 just because of the drain hose um 
just because of the drain holes, literally. That's the only reason I'm giving it a 4.5. Because of the drain holes being uh, short. Other than that, it's a pretty good washer. Um, I don't have any complaints other than the drain holes. But overall, it's a good washer. It's a great purchase for someone in an apartment that does not have washer dryer hookup. Um, Share, comment, and subscribe. Danielle Plus 2 signing out.